So today's video, we come to a little forest, Savanac Forest, near where I grew up. And this is an ancient woodland that has the highest concentration of ancient trees in Europe. And I want to show you some oak trees like you maybe have never seen before. <music> So I had an amazing thousand kilometer drive all the way from Denmark through Europe to the UK and actually drove all the way up to Oxtons during the night without sleep. So a bit of a crazy adventure and having a few days rest with Grace now just to get my energy back before heading off to Ireland. I think you'll agree this amazing farms I've been visiting is such a privilege and a pleasure to go and check out what people are getting started with and, and carrying on with as well. But I've really enjoyed the process and I think a lot of you have too. So I'm really glad that that's been beneficial for us all. And yeah, we're just going on a few days trip around the south of England. We might do a bit of fly fishing and get to the coast later. But this is a very special place for me to come here. There are about eight or nine oak trees that are over a thousand years old. And I guess most people have never seen oak trees like that and I want to show you a few of them as we take a walk in the forest and just really yeah it's awe-inspiring place and to, to come to ancient woodlands it's something that's very special indeed to observe the ecology and understand like what these woodlands would have looked like in history some of these oak trees have been here since before England was actually a country so let's go and have a look at a few So this is the... What's that? Oh, it's an animal bone. It's the leg of a deer. That's strange. This is the crockmore oak. Hey! Look! Acorns! Let's take some acorns from this one. This is a thousand years old. Just have a look at this tree. I think we should take some acorns from some of the most special trees and we'll propagate them in, at our farm. There's a whole mycelial ecology in here and a whole load of rocks. Who would put that leg up there? Wow, just look at this thing. You should show the leg, Daddy. This is not the oldest by any means, but it's certainly an old tree. What do you think, Gracie? Old. Pretty impressive, no? Pretty big, but I don't think a car could fit. You stand next to the trunk and let's get a scale with you on it. Pretty big, but we're about to see an even bigger, more famous tree, the King of Limbs. There it is, Gracie. You this is me. King of Limbs. Now, this is one of the most famous trees here. Obviously, King of Limbs was the album of Radiohead that was recorded in the estate manor here. But this tree's lost a lot of its limbs, each of them being big enough to be independent trees. But Grace, come and look around here. You told me to look in here. It's totally hollow, but you can come in around this side. Oh, yeah. And there's lots of mushrooms here. That's actually kind of a good home. This tree is 11 meters around. Have you ever seen such a big oak tree? So King of Limbs is a particularly special tree. In fact, there's a whole ecology that takes place inside ancient hollow trees. It's a place where bats come to live and bats are therefore sleeping inside the hollowed out tree and dropping high phosphate manure right inside the tree where it actually wants it. So there's this entire ecology that exists in ancient trees like this. Now this tree is over a thousand years old. It's older than England. England became a state in 927. You're doing history. You should know. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think well, 927 England became a state. So this tree actually predates that. Pretty amazing. When I first came here, it had a few more branches, they're falling off now as it gets old, but it's still a pretty impressive thing. It's 11 meters around. And this was actually a forest where King Henry VIII uh, hunted, and he actually met his third wife here, Jane Seymour, 
whose father owned this uh, land and estate and they stayed at Wolf House on the estate and this tree must have seen a lot of people coming by on horses and romantic tales of people in the forest and it's quite amazing to imagine something this old, no? So obviously the tree is only growing on the outer sides where the phloems and xylems are so this is basically fossilized wood we're right in the middle of the heart of the tree and this is a thousand year old material it's turned into dust now but pretty incredible i don't know if this will come out on camera there's a bit of honey fungus on here now but we're looking up into the middle of this i mean this wood looks burnt almost i mean it's just so old it's falling apart such an incredible thing to be in the middle of such an old organism. Now Gracie's actually missing school, uh, but I think we're learning a lot about ecology and history. Much in, in, more than I'd learn in school. I think so, because look where we are right now. We are on a Roman road. What? This was the Roman road? Yeah. Oh, cool. This is a 2,000 year old road. The Romans were incredibly good road builders and they built incredibly straight roads that crisscrossed our country. Now, all that remains is a ditch. The earthworks are still in place. This is why in design, I always talk about how changing the shape of the land is very high risk. Not only is it high cost, but if you change the shape of the earth around, it'll be like that in a couple of thousand years time. So you better know what you're doing. But this is the remnants of ancient history and rather than studying it in school, we're walking on it, feeling it, touching it, finding wild mushrooms, learning about ecology, and clearing the debris out of the forest. Pretty cool. Now, there's uh, much better preserved examples across the UK of Roman uh, history, including, like, these, these roads would have all been cobbled for really fast access around the country with chariots, horse and chariots. There are some remaining actual cobbled streets as well as amazing mosaics and, yeah, Pretty cool. Gracie, check out this tree. This beach is decimated on the inside. It's still alive. Obviously the tree is alive on the outer reaches of the bark on the phloems supplying water up there, but it's totally hollow inside and totally decayed. Pretty amazing, amazing old beech trees here. You can't really see the scale of them, but these are huge old trees. I really miss the beech forest. Beautiful. So here we are at the pointing oak. I'm not so sure we'll find anything here. There's a huge limb that's come off here. We should look for acorns, Grace. Huh? We should look for acorns. Look at the size of this limb that fell off. Wow. What, it's an old, old tree. Little mushroom down there. There's some polypore mushrooms here. Here's a mushroom. Oh, maybe not. Those are so cool. Are they edible? Are those edible? No. Can you touch them? Will they die? Will you die? I doubt it. So it's lost half of its main limbs, but still very impressive. Well, I was lucky enough to grow up in this area and so I've been here many times but I really recommend it as a place to come uh, if you're ever in the UK. It's a beautiful uh, place to go for long walks and you can camp here. We camped in a campsite uh, last night but it's, it's rare to find such ancient woodland assemblies and whilst there's these icon thousand year old trees and many of them there's a lot of very old trees and it's interesting to just come and observe the forest structure and really look at the ecology that's taking place here. There's obviously, it's a big estate that owns this, so there's also some planted forests. But there's nowhere really in Europe where you'll find such a concentration of old oak and also chestnut and beech, really old beeches. It's, it's remarkable. The camera can never take it all in when you're looking at architectural things this size. But we're off now to find the queen of the forest. We've seen the king of limbs, and now we want to find the queen. This is spider oak. 
But look, Gracie, how much of the tree has disappeared. I mean, it's half the tree. Wow. This is another thousand year old oak. What do you think, Gracie? It doesn't look like a thousand year old. It does to me. Look how big the trunk is. How long round? I would say it's at least six metres. Six. Probably more. The other one was 12 metres. Yeah, that's a particularly big one. Wow, amazing. You can see why it's called spider oak. Look, if you look back now, his legs. Wow. This is an ancient uh, birch tree, but this behind, the tall one, is a, a chestnut, sweet chestnut. Beautiful old tree. But we're now right up here close to the queen oak why is it called queen oak look at this chestnut gracie oh. wow this oh, place is incredible look at that for a chestnut unbelievable horse that's chestnut. That's got to be of a similar age group. Not, it's not horse chestnut, it's sweet chestnut. You can see them up there. Wow, that's amazing. This is the queen oak. It goes with the king of limbs. Now this tree is very old and very decayed. I mean, look at this, there's barely anything left alive. You can get inside that one, Gracie, and see up inside. But it's still going on. Stubborn old monarch. So we've just been thinking, Grace and I, because your mother, Michelle, Wanted well, you suggested that you wanted to start uh, earning your own money, didn't I you? I wanted to get my own money, and then my mum said I should start my own business. Yeah, Michelle says that Grace should start her own business already. So, one of our uh, missions was to think of a little idea on this few days that we have away, and we've come up with a good idea. Mummy said she'd give you something to start the business. Um, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. It was oh my that gosh. That twenty pounds. I'll buy as many stamps and envelopes as I can. Stamps and envelopes to get. Okay, so this is the plan, right? We're at some of the most amazing old trees in Europe, let alone England. So what Grace has decided to do, which I think is an amazing idea, I'm going to be your customer. She's going to gather together acorns from some of the oldest trees in Europe. This King of Limbs being the the most notable one. And but we will gather acorns now and then what will happen people can they can buy them you're going to send five at a time five at a time at five pounds and i'll save one pound from each person and then i can do that towards more stamps and envelopes that's a good idea so you reinvest some of the money into your supplies and your fixed costs well but i think it's is, really cool there's not so many here well there are we have to search for them well, they're dropping acorns it's a perfect yeah. time to do this so so grace you're offering like, anyone anywhere in the world if you want five acorns from the oldest oak trees in europe i think we'll collect some from here some from the crockmore oak and there's quite a, there's about eight more you'll handwrite the envelopes and send five acorns with which tree they came from to anyone anywhere but the thing is i don't know if i'll be able to get with which tree it is it might be amazing. no no i'll help you with that we'll make yeah. a bag for each and if you send me five pounds i will let grace know your address and then she will send you an envelope and write it out by hand and post it to you wherever you live with five acorns from this ancient incredible tree and that way we can spread out the genetics of this tree potentially all over the globe that's amazing. So we can't guarantee the viability of these acorns, but Grace is finding ones that don't have holes in, that aren't rotten, and she's doing her best. So we can't guarantee that they will germinate, and you need to read up on the stratification and germination of oaks. But that's easy enough, but I think they're pretty easy to propagate. But Grace is doing her best to select good ones all around, and we'll label each tree that we come by and give you its approximate age as well. But I think
think it should also be like you can get a mix of them if you want. Okay, so maybe we'll send them one of five different trees. Okay, we'll do the bonus pack. So this is actually sessile oak, uh, Quercus petraea. It's also known as Cornish oak in our country. And it's, uh, it's called that because the acorns are actually directly on the, the branch. They don't have a stem or a peduncle like you'd see on the peduncular oaks. Uh, so it's, it's common throughout England, also Europe, all the way Anatolia, Iran, basically. It's, it's quite widespread. We're finding some nice acorns for Gracie's uh, startup, which I'm really excited about. I think she's such a creative brain just to come up with these kind of things. And she's been doing this sort of thing before, like a little bit uh, selling cakes. And I think we've got an entrepreneur in the making, which is awesome. Can you imagine, Grace, if people germinate these in America and all different places, can you imagine when you're an old lady seeing photos of these old trees that you've sent out by envelope when you were a little girl? Is that mm, exciting? Yeah, but I don't know. If they'll okay. germinate? Yeah. That's like, okay, there's no guarantee. Some brown, some green, some green, yellow, some green and brown. You, don't, you can't guarantee to people. You're a bit worried about that. But that's okay, you've made it clear. But I think just to hold an acorn from a thousand-year-old tree will be a marvel for some people, but probably a lot of them will germinate. That would be amazing. People could send you photos, couldn't they? Grace is a bit worried about whether the acorns will sprout, and we obviously can't guarantee that. We're just coming today to have a little look. But what we can guarantee is where the acorns come from because the specimen old trees are actually surrounded by typically beech or uh, spruce or whatever in the more modern forest. There's, there's patches of ancient beech and ancient oak. So we can guarantee the acorns we're sending are from these particular trees. That's a really cool idea. I'm, I'm super impressed with Gracie and just a quick uh, creative process she went through to come up with this just as we're walking along. It's like it's totally her idea and I'm totally up for supporting it because I think it's the sort of thing where you folks that are following my channel and watching what we do is it's such a, an easy way to empower a young woman to start you know this is the sort of experience I see that could really impact her life and send it in a different direction in a small way perhaps but you know to she'll never forget like a response from people all over and having to do basic accounts and write envelopes and post them off and take responsibility for it. it it's very cool I'm very excited about it and it's a lovely way to engage together through this channel actually I think it's a really you know it's way out of the scope of what she could do just baking cookies and going down the street or us as parents like paying her to do something it's like it's really you have a broader scope in a way that I think will will empower her a lot so she's just off busy trying to find really good acorns for you which is awesome so we've actually decided we are we're doing mixed acorns so you get some from the queen of the forest the king of limbs and some of the other ancient trees just because I think that's a neat way to do it it's a very limited edition so there aren't many uh, sets for Grace to send out but uh, do support her if you feel moved to and it's amazing to just spread some of these acorns around because it's such a an amazing lineage to, to propagate. I hope, hope some of you managed to propagate them. We'd love to hear from you if you do. That would be awesome to map them out. Thank you for supporting my first business and I'm really excited.